Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at one of the best full-time travel trailers for couples in the entire RV industry. This is the 2023 Forest River Wildwood Heritage Glen model 308RL. We are going to be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're going to give you three things we love about the Heritage Glen and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again today, I am super excited to be showing you this huge Wildwood 308 RL, Heritage Glen. Before I begin, Gotta say hi to Will. Hey, Will. Hey guys. How's it going today? It's going good. I'm excited to take a look at this Heritage Glen. Yes. Uh, Matt, you mentioned that it was full, uh, like a full timing travel trailer. I said it's the perfect size for full timing right. because of how is, big it is. And it's a great layout for full timing. But guys, keep in mind that travel trailers are built a little bit different. So a lot of times they're not warranted for, for full time use like a lot of fifth wheels are. So always double check that with the manufacturer. Yes. You know, you don't want to be caught in, a, in an issue with your warranty. Well, I don't want to be caught in an issue. I don't want you guys saying, well, Matt said it's for right. full timing. Guys, you got to check with Forest River because a lot of times when you full time, when you say the F word in RVing, that will, some of the manufacturers can deny your warranties. Oh, you know how we say always know before you tow? Yep. Always know before you stow. <laughs> <laughs> there you, you know go. Well, let's begin. Okay. Model is 308RL. The actual tip tip length is 38 feet, seven inches. The dry weight is 9,091 pounds and the hitch weight is 1,225 pounds. Cool. Wildwood, Heritage Glen, top of the line. Power tongue jack here, propane tanks go here, your batteries go there. Well, it's gonna be built better, it's gonna be quality's nice. Yeah. Starting with this awesome molded fiberglass front cap. You got the LED lights, it's painted right here. It's big, it's sturdy. Look at the difference between that Wildwood Heritage Glen that's a Heritage Glen LLTZ. Right. This is just a regular one, and it makes all the difference in the world. Looks fan freaking fantastic. Black diamond plate rock guard there. Okay. Mm. Coming on down here, best in value, top insulated vacuum bonded sidewalls. Very nice panoramic tinted windows. Wait a minute, did that say side mounted? Side mounted heat ducts. Yes. Okay. For sure. Coming on down here, Will, we have decent pass through storage. Definitely not the best, definitely not the worst. Okay. But what I do love is that we have electric stabilizing jacks. There you go. Yes, sir. Very nice power awning with LED lights. And another power awning down there with LED That's lights. Awesome. Yes, sir. I love that. Give me all the awning space. Right. Right here, we do have speakers on the outside. A shaded pet tether right here. There you for go. For you to leash up your furry friends. Bing. That's Yuna, the light one, and Tucker, the dark one. Their boyfriend and girlfriend will. Yeah. Tucker's Will and Jen's dog. Yuna is mine and Andrea's dog. Love them. Constructed in the USA. Notice the wide suspension. There's first the competitors. It is going to make it easier to tow, especially when it's a unit this long. Yep. Coming on down here, we do have these awesome solid steps. Nice big grab handle. Okay. Okay. And then look at these tires. Will, they're the Goodyear Endurance tires. I love those. Awesome. ST225-75 R15. Very nice. And we do have the Dexter suspension right underneath there. Okay. And then finishing up, we do have another electric stabilizing jack. Coming around the back, well, we do have a nice bumper for the Stinky Slinky. Mm -hmm. Spare tire, spare tire carrier. Does come with the Lippert on-the-go ladder hookup. And it is prepped for the Furion backup camera. And then right here, we have all your cable, satellite hookups, and everything. Awesome. Very nice unit. Well, very big. And then finishing up, 50 amp service, of course. This is going to have two AC in it. Right. And then look at how big that slide out is. That's in the a bedroom. huge slide out, yeah. It sure is. Coming on down, you'll be able to see six gallon DSI water heater. That's where you're dumping your tanks. Here's where you're hooking up your tanks. Black tank flush, city water connection, everything's right here. Potable water fell, potable, potable. Outdoor shower and your gray tank is right there. Cool. All right, and then wrapping up, well, another little bit of storage. There you go, never, never enough storage. Never, never, never. 
Do you know who that's from? I don't. Will. I know, I'm it's the sorry. the way. Come on, Will. I'm sorry. Don't forget the Bev. Never, never, never. Nice you, storage over here. Do you know what the Bev is? Don't forget the Bev. No. The beverage, Will. The beverage. Hashtag the Aki way. Well, the outside of this trailer looks great, but I promise you, it's the inside that looks even better. Let's go, take a look. All right. Check out the inside, sir. Okay. We'll start up front. Awesome bedroom up here. Right behind that is the bathroom. And then in the back is your kitchen, living area, and dining area. You starting in the back today? We are, Will. And okay. let me tell you something. My TikTok just went viral. I know. We've sold 17 Locofides this morning. That's awesome. Like, to sell 17 in the day, that's like... Average. Right. No, that, that's a good day. That's a good day, That's yeah. a good day, right? But... Usually sales come more at night. Correct. So yeah. to be here at this time... That's awesome. It's just what I'm saying. Thank guys. you guys. Thank you for all the support. And make sure you follow us on TikTok. Will, this is an awesome travel trailer. And again, if I was the full time in an RV, I'd want it to be in a unit that looks like right. this. Before we begin, let's give a big shout out to Lipper. Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by Lipper. Did you guys know Lipper does so much more than axles and chassis? They actually make a whole bunch of RV lifestyle aftermarket products. I have three chairs that I want to show you guys today. The first chair is the super popular zero gravity chair. This chair, you can lean all the way back, you can relax it, you can... You, you, you just feel like you're in space with zero gravity. It's an awesome chair, and I know that's one of the best sellers. Then there's my personal favorite, which is a traditional fold-up chair. What I do like is that the all four stay sturdy, but you can pitch the back back so you can lock into your favorite place. And then finally, Will's favorite chair, the Big Bear chair. This is good for all the big guys out there or anybody who just wants an extra large chair. Thank you so much to Lipper for sponsoring this video. We actually have links down below on where you can pick up some of these chairs. Let's continue the video. Ready? Yep. Awesome. Back here, Will. Check out this storage. It's awesome. It's awesome. And it's held up by a strut. I yes, love sir. that. Check out these balances. Mm -hmm. Interesting looking balances. I haven't seen any like that. No, I haven't either. Privacy shades. Okay. Loving it. No daytime shades. Power and USB on that side. Nice little side table, storage underneath. Very comfortable sofa right here. Okay. Two-seater sofa, and it does make a bed. Okay. And again, well, this- I'll get the other side while you do that. Yes. Power USB, side table, seam storage over here. And this feels very much like a fifth wheel. Right. It's a long travel trailer, it so- It sure is. There you go. Bada bing, bada boom. Now people are wondering, Will, yeah. why would I want a travel trailer this long and not just get the fifth wheel? Right, I mean, there's a couple of reasons. Number one, it's gonna be cheaper. Number two, you could put your golf cart in the back of the truck. Are you gonna or... even let me talk, Will? Cause you're stealing the words from my mouth. Well, I figured people wanted to know from an RVer who oh. owns a fifth wheel. <laughs> Dang, emotional <laughs> damage. Mm. Okay, so that's number two, and then what's number three? Um, number three, like any other storage you want in the back, but there is something else I'm forgetting. You know, I forgot too, and I had it in my head, but you <laughs> want to play games. I know, I'm sorry. I forgive you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> right over here, Sansui TV, speaker system, fireplace that produces heat from electricity, and it is directly across from the entertainment center. Yep. Oh my God. The entertainment center is directly across from the theater seats. Right. Will, you hurt my feelings so bad, now I you know. got me all confused. Right here, very nice Thomas Paine collection. Theater seats, like this. Okay. Like this. And there is USB in there. Is there a third reason, Will, or is it really just pricing to keep the bed of your truck? Yeah, I mean, um, weight as well. 
Because, you know... Yes, and about the truck. Yes, yeah. so pin weight. Yeah, pin weight. Because an F-250 could tow this no problem. No problem, especially... Well, you need sway bars. Good sway bars. Correct. Weight distribution. But no problem. Yeah. So, with a lot of trucks, like three-quarter ton trucks... Yeah. Three-quarter three quarter ton trucks can tow most any fifth wheel. Most. The problem is, it's not about the towing... It's about that pin weight, right. which even something like Will's Avenue, he's overweight with. Yep, with my three-quarter ton, yeah. Whereas with the hitch, right. a three-quarter ton can tow any travel trailer. Right. With an asterisk. Most any travel trailer. 99.99. Yep. This is fantastic, Will. Nice theater seats. And I'm liking this mirrored fireplace. I like that too, there. yeah. And then over here, Will, again, just like a fifth wheel, is a very nice table and chairs. They okay. do have it strapped down for transport. It looks like it's going to be really nice and roomy, though. It is, at least on this side. You know what I'm saying? Right. Very nice and roomy. You got this little light here. Windows all the way around. And again, high-end features, high-end finishes. It's a phenomenal travel trailer. Yes. Well, well, do you know what time it is? It's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. All right, well, MSRP... On this travel trailer here is $75,352 MSRP. Yep. Sale price, Jen, please reveal it right there. America, that is the sale price of this unit. But, Will. Yeah. We're not America. Well, we are America. But we're not just America. Right. We're the Matt's RV Reviews America. That's right. Which means we can always get people a little bit of a better price than that. All you have to do is go to generalrb.com slash Matt's Cash. Fill out that contact form. A member of my team will reach out to you guys, and we're going to get you the absolute best price in America. To get to that link, we've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You can get to it via mattsrvreviews.com under the tab that you're ready to buy an RV, or call 844-969-4033. However you get in contact or walk into General RV, right. make sure you tell them you love Matt's RV Reviews. Even if you don't love us, just tell them anyway, and we're going to get you a phenomenal price. <laughs> well, right. let's continue the video. All right, I'll start right over here with the kitchen. Nice storage up top there. Coffee bar right here with power and USB. And then you got a little bit of storage underneath right there. Yes, sir. Next to all that is the pantry space. Really, really nice big pantry with a light in there. Mm. And then you have an Everchill compressor refrigerator right here. So this works off a 12 volt. It's already nice and cold just from the battery jump box. Can we can we stop 10 seconds for station identification? Yeah. Because that is very nice. It is. Do you know where they say that? No. They say it on the radio, Will. Oh. They say it on the radio. the radio. You don't do talks. I do. You, you don't tick or talk. You don't. I know. You know? Maybe you're just too busy being a real RVer. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> nice microwave nice right there. Nice on microwave. Yes, sir. Good countertop space next to your stove. Nice paper, back, no, plastic backsplash. Not solid surface. They're trying to keep the weight down in this and the price. Um, no, they're not trying to keep the weight down in this. Really. I don't know why they did that. Yeah. I guess price, price. or just, yeah. yeah. I mean, nobody right wants there. an $80,000 travel trailer. <laughs> right. Uh... Nice Furion range hood right there. Three burner Furion cooktop right here with the blue lights and oven. And drawer underneath. Did I get these drawers? I did. You right? did. Okay. Right behind is this nice big island. Um, you know, this is something you don't see in most travel trailers as well. But right. again, with this floor plan being longer, um, more fifth wheel like. Nice big island. Again, not solid surface. Extension faucet right here. Nice big single bowl sink. And then you got some storage here and storage here. Very nice. I think that wraps up the kitchen. It sure doesn't. Did you show this? I did show that. Well, it sure does then. Yep. Show us that bathroom, Will. Hey, I have high hopes for this. It should be good. High hopes. She has high hopes. There is a step up. Mm. See, it's hard. I wish that they, like, it passes. But the potential was much better. Right. You know the expectations mean? were so much higher. It's like I can only stand right there. Right. They should have put know, that sideways. Here. Yeah. So, yeah. If they put it sideways, you know, you would have had more room. But um, it's still going to pass. Bing. Whoa. That was weak, huh? That was a weak bing. Bing. That's the shower and test seal of approval. Well, you can tell it's lunchtime. Yeah. 
Can we get Chick Fil A today? Uh, yeah. Cool. I had a gluten free bun there the other day. Whoa, liquefy! There you go. Guys, this is our brand of RV toilet treatment. It's the absolute best. You can get this down in the description below. Thank you so much to all the support, guys. Um, nice medicine cabinet, sink here, and storage there. There you go. They were uh, out of regular buns, well, so I had oh, a gluten free. No. no, I had a gluten free bun. Was it okay? It was actually okay. So I think I'm gonna like order one. Okay. Because I have a feeling, Will. You know, we thought of liquefied because of my digestive system. Right. So I have a feeling that not having the gluten will be good for me. Yeah. Um, it's porcelain. And again, well, this is so close. Right. You know what? Well, since we're talking about gluten-free, I am going to pass this. This is a prime poop position. Bing. And that one was purposely a small okay, one. because it was right on the edge. Right. Okay. But again, you know, I mean, I feel like if I can, if I don't mind, like, the taste, I I'll do gluten free, you know. No more chicken nuggies. Well, no, no, no. I mean, it will still be, it will still be a crispy chicken sandwich. Oh. Uh, so. That's not gluten free then. But the, the bun, Will. The okay. bun. All right. Okay. Check out this big window. Okay. Listen, Doctor Will, you don't need to tell me what to do. Okay. Look. This is an awesome, awesome bag. Whole. This, Lee smokes, this bedroom well. literally has more room than my fifth wheel. <laughs> like to get in here to get changed and everything. Right. Unreal. Fan freaking tastic. Uh, queen size bed though, I guess, right? Or that's a, a, that's a king. That well. is a king. Yeah. Yeah. It's this. It's this slide. Honestly. Right. Nice deep slide, right? Very there. nice. Here, you want to open this? Yes, sir. Wow. Underneath. And it does connect from the outside there. Right. Wait till you see the closet too. Power and USB over there. Yep. Second AC unit. And then the closet. I'm loving these doors. Right. Wow. Wow. Huge closet here, right. Will. Let's get the other side. Oh, I'll get that. Absolutely massive closet. And you are able to get a washer dryer in here. It's a I'm, side by side. I'm going to. Side by side? Yep, because over there I saw there's a vent. See that sticker? Wow. Again, well, but it's not. I don't know if it's warranty for full time, but I would totally live in this. Oh, yeah. Right here we have the drawer, drawers, and more drawers. And then you have a TV backer right there. Okay. Well, this is a fantastic travel trailer. Um, very, very great. Now, before everybody leaves, though, it's time to give people three things we love about this unit. Three things we just don't like about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we dislike? Yeah, did we have one outside? We, we did. did. Well, dislike number one, this is a very high-end fancy travel trailer. I don't like how all this is exposed. Right. i much rather have had it all enclosed with the outdoor shower and everything. Yeah. It's just fancier that way. This, I agree. I'm not a fan of. That's dislike number one. Great. That's dislike number one. Will. You gotta find a dislike number two for me. Okay, dislike number two, here come past. It's like, the reason that I'm gonna harp on this a little more is because there was so much potential. Both the toilet and the shower passed, but they could have done it a little bit better. I think especially with the shower, mm. like turn that skylight and it would be a great shower. Mm. Adjust that toilet a little bit and like I think a, it would have been awesome. A, an inch or an angle makes all right. the difference in the world. It does. That's number two, Will. And then number third, I tell you what, I haven't found a number three. Do you have one? Oh, yeah. No, I have one. Okay. I'm going to say two part. One, why aren't you giving me solid surface countertops? Right. Again, this is $75,000. I just right. would expect that. And then truthfully, I don't like this backsplash either. And I'd much rather have had a window. Yep. Easy. I agree. Bada bing, bada boom. That's three things we don't like about it. Well, now it's time for three things we love about it. And I'm going to go first. I'm going to say the storage on the outside, the awnings on the outside, and the auto level or the electric stabilizer on the outside. Right. Very nice creature comforts. I freaking love that. That's number one. Will, number two? Number two, um, as much as I don't like the countertops, I love how they got a kitchen island in here. And there's really, really good counter space in here. Yeah. And I'll combo that with the pantry. A really mm. nice big pantry for a travel trailer. For sure. You know, so many times, well, we, we, we get fogged. Our memories get right. fogged. We're all like, man, this unit isn't that great. Right. But again, that's because we just did a fifth wheel. Right, before. right. You know, when you compare, when you take all the fifth wheels out of your brain. And, and you, you look at the travel trailers. Yeah. It's phenomenal. Yeah. That's number two. Speaking of phenomenal, Will, we definitely saved the best for last. 
and that is this awesome bedroom area. Yep. The wardrobe, the fact that you're able to get the washer dryer, the look, this, the size, the slide out, the king size bed. Well, this is a fantastic travel trailer. It is. And again, I'm not saying it's warranty for full time or not. I don't know. And that is a shade of gray we don't like to enter. Yep. Here's what I know. I would take the risk if I'm in the travel trailer right. life and I'd live in this sucker because it is that big. It is. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are interested in buying this RV or any RV, go to generalrv.com slash Cash. Link down in the YouTube description below, on our website, on Facebook, or call 844-969-4033. However, you got to get in contact with General RV. Always let them know that you love Matt's RV reviews. Will, what do you want to say to America? Hey, guys, thank you all so much for watching. This is a really, really good travel trailer. Again, perfect for full timing. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and Will, we'll see you next time.